Hi, this is Denise Estrada, and you're watching True School Sports. Well, it's personal between me, and I'm going to do you some serious harm, you big stiff idiot. Okay. All right, Ben and Taylor here at True School Sports. I'm with, you know, the, 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 the very, very lovely and equally talented, you know, Sinisa Estrada, the two-division champion. How you doing, Sinisa? I'm doing well, thank you. Yeah. Good to, good to see you again. Thank you. Nice it's been you. some time since, since we actually did an interview, so it's good to yeah, get you on the channel. Well. Yeah, yeah. But let's get right into it. You know, you got uh, Maria Santizio. She's, you know, not, not very unknown, but she's been very, I don't know if you've seen what she said. She's been very talkative recently. She's been saying like, Sinise has never been in the ring with a girl like me. Uh, how do you feel about yeah. um, her as an opponent and her comments? Um, I mean, she's undefeated. She's 9-0, but uh, her skills to me don't match her record. So I know she's confident that she's going to beat me. And, uh, I faced two very good world champions this year and defeated them both. And they're uh, a lot better than Santizo. So. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but of course, I don't overlook her. I've had a great, hard training camp. And um, I'm just confident in, in my skills. Yeah. 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 It is a bit of a different, a different fight, though, because like I know with um, Tenkai Tsunami and Annabelle Ortiz, they were like two-minute rounds. This is a three-minute round fight. It's actually two minutes. Is it? This is two minutes? Yeah, yeah. I heard it was three. Wasn't three? It's two. We were trying to get three, but uh, I think it was like the Texas Commission didn't approve it. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, man. I was, I was kind of excited to see I, a three. I, if it was three, it would be worse <laughs> for Santizo because uh, three-minute rounds with me would be pretty bad for her. Yeah. You probably would have, you know, probably punish her. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Yeah, okay, okay. Well, I know um, I was reading too, like, your Costa Vale fight is a, is a fight, you know, she's a champion in your weight class. Is, is there a deal in place? Because I was reading that there was a deal in place for a, a fight. Um, yeah, we're actually talking about that after this fight, um, having the unification fight with your Costa as my first fight of 2022. So I'm excited about that because I want to unify. Yeah, it seems like it's been really hard getting the champions in the ring because I know like you, you're not really like a talkative person, but you've been talkative about like Yesenia Gomez not wanting to fight, Jessica Bop don't want no smoke, you know, what's what's been going on with these champions? Yeah, I mean, I'm not very talkative as you said, but I mean, enough is enough. Like I've, I've had to be vocal about it because it's also not only them who don't want to take the fights, it makes it easier for them to say no because the organizations don't make them mm -hmm. fight who they're supposed to fight. And um, nobody ever complains about it because I don't think anybody, if there's anybody like me who really wants to be great in these divisions and wants all the belts and wants to be the best. So nobody says anything about it, but I want all the belts, I want to be the best, so I gotta say something about it and make this fight happen. Yeah, because it, it, it does seem like that, like, there's not, like, as much money in women's boxing, so sometimes when these girls get, get the belt, they want to, like, go on to witness protection and not, right. not fight nobody. See, the thing is, but now, now that I've, now that I'm here, like, now these champions have no excuse, because you're going to make the most money you've ever made in your career fighting me, so make the damn fight happen. Yeah. You know, so, so now that they, so now knowing that, if they still don't want to make the fight happen, then it's just because they don't want it to happen, so they don't want to fight me, so that's, yeah. yeah. Yeah, sign the contract. You know, 2022 has got to be the year in boxing of no excuses and no dishonor. You can't, you can't make excuses and you can't dishonor yourself in the sport. There's yeah. too many people in boxing doing that these days. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Thank you for watching another video on True School Sports, the home of boxing. If you made it this far, do me a favor and do yourself a damn favor. Hit that subscribe button and surely you will not be disappointed. You know, True School Sports bringing you the latest and greatest, the untouchable, you know, boxing content interviews news videos breakdowns live fight reaction extravaganza we've got a great community of, of people here boxing fans all over the world from america to the uk to australia and on and on and on so join the empire today hit that subscribe button take care and god